Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the China EV Show. I'm your host, Toby. Give us a like and a subscribe before we get started. It helps the channel a lot. So let's get into today's topic, which is talking about Jiue, which is the brand from Jili and Baidu. We're going to take a closer look at the Jiue Zero One. Just to give you an idea about this brand, this was on their stand at the Chengdu Auto Show. So this gives you a real feeling, a vibe for what this brand is about. A huge massive robot arm so they are about the robotic they are about the autonomous they are about the technical they are about the future some might argue geely of course as we know is the mother company of a few automotive brands already including zika geely auto lincoln co lotus uh, volvo and polestar and some more brands it is the group that apparently will never have enough brands and baidu is the dominant search engine of china kind of like the chinese google and in much the same way it is branching out into other areas including autonomous driving under its Baidu Apollo brand. So about this brand, formerly known as Jidu, but now it is known as Jiyue, which is the next step on its journey following a financial restructuring. So previously, Jidu owned 45%, a minority stake in Jidu, while Baidu owned 55%. But now with the creation of the Jiyue mark, Jili owns 65%, so it's a majority stakeholder. Geely will provide, obviously, the manufacturing expertise and utilize its established supply chain, while Baidu's cutting-edge artificial intelligence tech, including advanced intelligent cabins and autonomous driving, user experience, will be leveraged. We've seen this before between Huawei and Ceres brand uh, called Ito, uh, which has been a, very, a great success, actually, or it's been a relative success, at least, uh, delivering more than 10,000 units per month for most of the second half of 2022. This combination of car expertise and user experience knowledge seems to be a really great match. And this shift to software-driven vehicles is the future, and the brands that do it well will be the ones that succeed in the long term. So this is the GUS 01, very classic Geely naming. So let's have a look at this car. Um, it's a pre-production model, so everything is not final, but we can assume the finished model will be almost the same as this with some minor changes, perhaps under the hood, maybe not aesthetically. The brand claims that it will offer an unparalleled intelligent automotive experience. And if we have a look inside, obviously the doors are electronic. Uh, optional, I would hope. Front and back. It's a very divisive topic, the electric doors. But inside we can see that it's very kind of minimalistic, but it's also very well done. We can see the big screen there. Uh, dual charging pads. There's games controllers, so you can obviously link up your controllers to the screen nothing excess everything is required and it's a very pleasant experience to be in uh, it's the first car to have the 8295 snapdragon automotive chipset from qualcomm which is used to power its massive huge 35.6 inch 8k wide screen which is the only instrument panel as we can see in the front in the back's kind of the same deal nothing too exciting nothing extra we have a small LED for controlling your rear climate and I would assume for some infotainment controls, maybe adjusting music and there's a dual fast charging USB type C ports in there as well. At present, the car only has 400 volt charging capacity. So it's not super, super charging as we've seen in the G6, the Xiaopong G6 recently but this may be upgraded in the future, but right now it's not there. In terms of the exterior design, um, it's a bit generic, I might say, uh, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because this is not the reason why you'd buy this car. It's got a nice uh, front LED layout. It's, it's a kind of medium sized, to describe a crossover SUV. It's got a uh, spoiler at the back, which goes up when you accelerate or at certain speeds. Um, you know, low drag coefficient wheels. I feel like it looks a little bit like there's some flashes of Lotus at the back, um, but I think that's just because it's a similar vehicle type. But all in all, it's not a bad looking vehicle for sure, either inside or outside. There has been no information confirmed about the battery size or the range yet, but you can kind of assume there'll be like an 80, 80 kilowatt hour battery, or maybe a larger 100, 110, size that's available for the extra extra long range versions um, 
but it'll probably be from you know 550 kilometers to up to 700 800 kilometers as is usually the standard with a lot of cars these days these seem to be very popular uh, ranges to choose the gl01 should be arriving soon with deliveries planned for quarter four of this year and no price has been released at present but we can assume it to be between i'd say 250 to 300,000 yuan probably probably towards the higher side of that probably around 300,000 what do you think about the gus 01 is it something you think you'd buy let us know in your comments below that's a wrap for today's episode folks don't forget to leave your comments on today's topic in the section below i've been toby give us a like give us a subscribe and i'll see you next time on the china ev show